today is the day that the Colonel gets real functioning lights. They're, uh, they're bright red when they're on, um, and they're, they have a high and a low beam function. So they'll work perfectly for a tail light, and they'll go something like right there. So this wiring harness is actually really nice. Probably the nicest wiring harness I've ever seen that's come with a set of, you know, LED lights off the internet. So we've got our low beam which looks, I wish we still had them laying around, but the plastic things that went in here looked like almost exactly like that. Then you can have high beam by itself, which is ridiculously bright. And then you can also have high and low, but you can't actually tell the difference because high is so bright. But I think what I'll do is just wire it so that they come on with the ignition uh, on the low beam because they draw like hardly any power at all on low beam and then we'll wire the high beam to the brake light. So it'll just be, they'll always be on and then it'll come on like that with the brake lights. I think I'm gonna be able to do this without having to weld to the frame, which of course would be bad because I'd have to repaint it. I've got this little bracket whipped up, nice thin 16 gauge steel. It should be able to go between the shock mount here and this frame mount point. It should bridge between those two, of course, back there. And that's pretty much perfect for this little bracket to go to. I have the bend on there just for stiffness. Um, so that'll sit in there about like that. taillight pods mounted. I think they uh, I think they look pretty good. Convenient timing, uh, UPS showed up while we were eating lunch and brought the headlights. They're not quite as cool or quite as bright, but we have a very limited amount of space for them to go. And these are extremely slim. These should do the trick. headlights are kind of perfect because of how thin they are. I had no idea how perfect they are. The mounting bracket that comes with them fits 100% perfectly to the side of the grill here. Oh, wow. And when it's in there, that'll be hidden or at least mostly hidden behind the fender here so you won't even see that bolt. I can't believe you found lights that fit like that. It's rather surprising how well they fit. Yeah. Nothing ever fits that well. Those are really bright actually. We should shut the door and turn off the lights and test them out. That'll totally do the trick. I think so. Yeah, they're uh, definitely a high beam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're tilted up pretty good. They have a little bit of adjustment. I might be able to fiddle with them and get them a little lower. Cause like obviously, uh, if you're riding in it, it's going to be squashed down a little bit more in the back. Huh. Yeah. That's pretty good. Nice. Yesterday, I got the headlights and taillights mounted. Now I just have to do the wiring for them. I ran the wire from the headlights back here. I just need to put in a switch for it and then the tail lights I'm gonna wire up to the ignition so they just turn on with the uh, ignition and then um, wire them up to the brake light. But first, before I start on the wiring, 
we're gonna go ahead and put this light bar on the front. Yeah, that looks awesome right there. Yeah, it does. It's perfect. Just mount it up a little bit there. <laughs> Night riding is gonna be so much fun. Bye. So once again, I want to avoid welding anything onto this section of frame here, partly because I don't want to have to repaint it and partly because I want it to stay beautiful if we decide to move the light bar. So um, I got some pieces of inch and a quarter tubing here. Whoops. I'm going to make some clamps. Little clamp on here. And then I'll weld this bracket to the clamp and then you can just take that off. completely awesome lighting. We got our headlights, we got our light bar, and we got brake lights. It's awesome. So we got brake lights, and the brake lights work whether the ignition's on or off. And then when you turn the ignition on, they come on on the tail light setting. These are the headlight switches here. So top one is main headlights, bottom one's light bar. Next up, throw this on Sendy and then everything will be lit. Got the light bar mounted to the windshield. Um, obviously we're just screwing into plastic here, so I went with three nice solid screws on each side, and it's plenty solid to the windshield. The problem being the windshield itself is rather floppy. So I'm making this little bracket here, which is gonna go right there, and bolt onto that uh, valve cover bolt, and then screw onto the back side of the windshield here. So that'll keep it nice and stable in theory anyway we'll see how it holds up after 50 miles of <laughs> overlanding but uh that's the plan and then uh just gotta find a switch wire it up and uh we'll be in light bar business So 
we've got lights on everybody. I think we're pretty much 100% ready for the Overland trip with uh, Moto Mule, Hessek Moto, and Rutherby Welding. It's gonna be a Power Wheels adventure. And, uh, you know, here's hoping we all make it through without breaking everything. <laughs> That's the main concern. But uh, either way, it'll be an awesome time. Uh, you know, we've got enough vehicles going that somebody will tow everybody else out. Odds are it'd be Mike, Moto Mule, because his is the most indestructible and the least overpowered. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fantastic trip, so stay tuned for that.